You know, entrepreneurship is a pretty lonely gig. I don't know about you, but it's hard. It's hard to find people who understand what you're doing and are quality people who can help you become a better entrepreneur, who can really push and challenge you and make you a better person. And in this episode, it's just our little two minute tutorial. We're gonna answer one of the questions that comes directly from one of our subscribers. Daniel Flowers asks, it's so hard to find quality friends nowadays. How do you meet and create those types of relationships? And what a great question, Daniel. Um, that's a hard one. You know, I think that everyone, well, not everyone, but at least my circle of friends, anyone that I've talked to, my mentors, I've asked this question to quite frequently. And they've all told me that it's hard, you know, regardless of your level of success, it's gonna be difficult to find people who understand what you're trying to do in the world. I think that entrepreneurs were just as like, rare breed of people who think totally differently. And I know for myself, I have really close friends from college, from even like literal elementary school. My best friend um, is from a, you know, elementary school. And I've been blessed that she totally understands uh, what I'm trying to do. She's a huge She's my biggest cheerleader. She's super supportive. I love her. But there's other friends that I've known from my childhood who just don't get it. You know, even like some of my church friends, they're just, they think and look at us like we're a little bit like aliens, which is super funny and totally understandable, but we're just a rare breed. And so one of the things that I would highly recommend that you do as you make it a goal to surround yourself with quality people is think about where can you find these people? Where do they hang out, right? What do they actually do? I know right now it's kind of difficult to go to things like conferences, but you can totally do this virtually as well. And really that's where I've met a lot of the friends that I have built amazing relationships with and have really helped me to look beyond where I am right now into what I could become, right? They've really pushed me to expand my vision and just become a better person and a better entrepreneur and a better community leader and a better creator. So my first thing is like, go where people are at, right? Like attend events, whether they're local, virtual, international, check out where you can attend, go to see people in real life in person. That is the best way, in my opinion, to start, start building those relationships is getting that FaceTime. But the second best thing is really look at, you know, who you want to be friends with. They can be people who are a couple steps ahead of you. You, um, or people who are, you know, a little bit further ahead too. And you can start becoming their friend. And you can start becoming, you know, their highest rated commenter, their most engaged advocate on social media, even their student. It's one of the ways that I share about like how to find mentors. But a lot of times your mentors can become your friends. And so DMing them, talking to them, not being a creepo, right? Like don't do it 17 times every day, just like a couple times a week. Just make it known that you appreciate what they're doing in the world and start building, right, that relationship. The third place is a mastermind. If you've never been a part of a mastermind, I highly recommend that you do. And Personally, I like being a part of paid masterminds because it really creates this barrier to entry. I know that the people who are going to pay a certain amount to be a part of a mastermind are doing successful things in the world. They're my kind of people. They understand kind of what I want to do. And so oftentimes we'll make Sorry, <laughs> I need to move the tea. Our, our good friends that we built, Chris and I, have come out of mastermind groups. The other thing that you could do is have people on a show, like a podcast or a YouTube channel. I know my husband, Chris, has made so many awesome friends through his podcast, is having conversations with people. And when you can do that in a longer format, that actually helps you get to know the person on a deeper level. And it creates that, you know, kind of breaks the ice in a really elegant way. So those are my tips. Those are my uh, strategies for surrounding yourself with people who are high quality, who really understand you. Get around entrepreneurs, like try to be in communities, you know, sign up for masterminds, get to know people on a personal level. I think that can make a huge difference. So I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please smash the thumbs up button. Please, please. The algorithm loves that stuff. Leave me a comment below letting me know, are you or are you not in search for higher quality friends and higher quality and higher quality network? Let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Even just a yes or no answer really helps us gauge where you guys are at and whether we should create videos around this topic in the future. I love you. 
Un beso, and I'll see you on the next video, which will be somewhere here on the screen. Enjoy.